The Prime Minister has already rejected calls for a second Scottish independence vote before Brexit and today at the Conservative conference in Cardiff, Theresa May was not backing down. It is now clear that using Brexit as the pretext to engineer a second independence referendum has been the SNP's sole objective ever since last June. But it would be bad for Scotland, bad for the United Kingdom and bad for us all. But today the SNP were at their spring conference in Aberdeen and they're not backing down either. Scotland's referendum is going to happen and no UK Prime Minister, no UK Prime Minister should dare to stand in the way of Scotland's democracy. That was music to the ears of First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. On Monday, she dramatically called for another independence referendum in Scotland, surprising many. It's less than three years since the last independence vote, but Nicola Sturgeon believes Brexit changed everything. She now wants another vote in autumn 2018 or spring 2019 and says no UK Prime Minister should stand in the way. Surely what is not acceptable and can't be acceptable to any of us is a Conservative government at Westminster that has one MP in Scotland believing that it can simply say no to the democratically elected Scottish government and Scottish parliament and stand in the way of the people of Scotland having a democratic choice about the direction of our country. Next week, Nicola Sturgeon will seek the authority of the Scottish Parliament for a second referendum. The Prime Minister says another vote will cause uncertainty and division. There is so much at stake, and right now neither are willing to budge. Leila Hayes, 5 News.